In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at configuring Client PC Backup, which is one of the most highly anticipated features of this new version of Windows Small Business Server. So to do this, we're going to start out here in the dashboard and select the Computers and Backup tab, where we can see all of the computers and servers in the SBS environment. When a client computer is joined to the SBS environment, the backup is automatically set up and will run during the first backup window. Now you can define the current backup window using the additional client computer backup tasks. Here you can see there is a start time and an end time, which defines a time range during which all the computers in the SBS environment will run their backups. You can also set the values of the backup retention policy, and this is used to control how much backup data is stored on the SBS server. On the Tools tab, we can see that we have a repair option for the client PC backup database and also the ability to create a bootable client computer recovery key, which can be used to do a full bare metal restore of a client PC. Next, let's take a look at customizing the backup for each individual client PC. When we select a PC, we have an option to customize backup for that computer. We can disable backup for the computer entirely or we can add or remove items which are backed up. In order to perform a bare metal restore, you need to make sure that you're backing up the system reserved information. And by default, all the information on the computer's drives will be backed up as well. But you can choose to exclude certain folders as appropriate. The next page of the wizard is used to simply confirm your choices. Finally, let's take a look at the settings available on the client PC. We're able to control some backup settings for the client PC through the Launchpad. For more information about the Launchpad, I encourage you to watch that Learning Byte video. Here in the Backup Properties, we have a couple of different choices. The end user can manually start a backup to happen outside of the backup window which is defined, and they can also choose whether or not to automatically wake the computer if it's in a sleep or hibernation mode in order to run the backup. This allows you to take advantage of the power-saving features of the Windows client and still protect the data. So that's a quick look at configuring PC backup in the SBS 2011 Essentials environment. Thank you very much for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you join us for additional videos.